Hey, where is my stuff? My room is empty. What did you do with it? Hey, I know you saw my messages. Are you the one who did this, Isabel? Ah, oh, shut up. You just yap and yap and yap like a dog. I was in a good mood just now, too. Just answer me. Where are you guys? My dad's car isn't here. Huh? Us? We're going out to eat right now. Me, Mommy, and Daddy. The whole family's here. We're celebrating me moving on to high school. Oh, I see. What's that? You weren't invited? You were left behind to eat all alone at home? Aw, poor you. Well, I guess it makes sense, because today we're celebrating as a family. And my dad's ex-wife's daughter isn't family. It's just how things are, right? That's enough. More importantly, where did you put my stuff? Where did you hide it? Give it back! I'm not returning it. It's not even in the house anymore. Because tomorrow, you won't be in the house anymore either. I can't fit all of my mom's and my clothes and accessories and stuff in my room. So I had to tear your room down to make room for a new closet. And since we were talking about kicking you out... What the hell? What do you mean? You can't figure it out? God, you're dumb. We don't need you in the house. You walk around my house shamelessly, even though you're a stranger. Aren't you embarrassed? I'm not staying or anything. This was my house to begin with. My mom died, and then you all immediately rolled in and started living here. My dad's mistress and his stepchild. So what? My mom and dad are already married. And the three of us are a happy family. My daddy, the president of a huge company, my beautiful mommy, and me. It's really annoying having some outsider here. We don't need some stranger's kid hanging around, so why don't you just get out already? Then we can be the perfect family. I have every intention of leaving this house eventually. But my junior year in high school isn't exactly a great time. So, again, for the last time, where did you put my stuff? Did you throw it all away? Daddy said it might be good to send it to your granddad's house for the time being. So, I sent it there for you. You should be grateful I didn't just throw it away. My granddad's. I haven't seen him since I was little. I haven't spoken to him in forever. I guess I have no chance but to count on him, though. Daddy said he'd send you the address later. Sorry, I get disgusted whenever there's a lot of garbage in the house. So please leave by tomorrow. Seriously, enough already. And my dad too, marrying the woman he cheated with as soon as my mom died. I don't need that nasty woman or you in my life. I'll go to my granddad's house or wherever. So help yourself to the house. Ah, I see. Well then, why don't you spend the rest of your life taking care of your grandpa? You probably aren't capable of doing much else. I'm going to follow in my daddy's footsteps and become the company president. I've got life on easy mode. If you have trouble finding a job, I can hire you. I'll put you to work cleaning toilets for the rest of your life. Okay then, bye-bye! Hey, it's been ages. Wait, what's your name again? Oh, that's right, Sara. How have you been? Look who it is, Isabel. I'm good. What do you care? Because I'm in a great mood today. And I was thinking I'd share how gloriously my life is going to the sad sack living at her granddad's. Wow, you're as annoying as ever. You must have a lot of time on your hands. I'm in college now. I've joined clubs and made friends. And I hang out with them every day and go to parties. And I have a handsome boyfriend now. 
We're going on a trip together soon. It's great, isn't it? Wow, yeah, amazing. When I tell people I'm the daughter of the company president, people take extra care of me. They buy me drinks and start hanging around with me. Guys start hating on me even though I have a boyfriend. It's almost too much. Wow. But by doing this, I am establishing my future status as a female company president. I'm definitely going to be living rich and comfortable for the rest of my life. Life is so easy. It's the best. What? What are you talking about? That's just not true. I'm the one who's inheriting the company. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? Did you get a head injury or something? Daddy picked me as his successor. Are you still under the impression that you're part of the family or something? You may be daddy's child, but you're not family. I won't let some outsider get in my way. No, I was going to talk to you about this after you graduated college, but I'll tell you now, since you made an effort to reach out to me. Oh yeah? Out with it then. I was talking with my granddad. You know what he told me about that company that my dad runs? It's actually my granddad's company. Dad was promoted to president after he married my mom. It seems he's completely forgotten that, though. Well, so what? I don't see how any of that matters. Do you really not get it? In other words, my mother's family owns the company. And being my mother's daughter, I'm inheriting it. My granddad decided what i don't understand why would it be your granddad's decision he's got nothing to do with the company now my daddy is president now and he decided that i would inherit i'm the successor i get that you might not want to hear this but hey what did my dad buy you recently what what do you mean you used to brag about getting presents all the time, remember? On your birthdays, on Christmas, as a reward for good grades, or on holidays, or even on any ordinary day. You said you got a lot of expensive things. And you said you bet no one had ever gotten anything like that for me. What's your point? But recently, he's not been buying anything for you, has he? On the contrary, your allowance has actually decreased, hasn't it? What? How do you know that? Well, Dad was fired from the company. Huh? After you kicked me out and I went to my granddad's house, I told my grandparents all about what you guys did to me. He was not happy with my dad at all. And before I knew it, he had handled it. He relieved my dad of his position as president, demoted him, and eventually fired him. It seems he was embezzling money in order to support you guys. So, he wasn't given any severance. Huh? Huh? I don't understand. Nothing you're saying makes sense. I'm only telling the truth. My dad's working a part-time job now. No respectable company wants to hire him. He didn't want you or your mother to find out. He's trying desperately to keep the same standard of living. The other day, I saw him cleaning at the supermarket. His face went white as a sheet when he saw me. He gave me 40 bucks to not tell anyone. You're lying. He's the president of the company. There's no way he was fired. If you don't want to believe me, then don't. But as I said, I'm the heir to the company. I won't even hire you, let alone make you president. You liar. That's not possible. I'm the heir, not you. Listen... I'm studying law and economics in school. At the same time, I'm being trained to be the successor by my granddad and other company executives. After college, I'm going to work at another company from the same industry to get some experience. I've been doing all this, striving to become a worthy successor. And you? Uh? What are you doing? You went to college using the money your father earned from his part-time job. And now you're... What? Going to clubs and parties? Vacationing with your boyfriend? Living an easy life, 
and not studying enough. How can you sit there all smug and say you're going to inherit the company? You crack me up. Shut up! You talk big for some stranger. I am the successor. I will become the president of Daddy's company. I guess you haven't been listening. You really don't have any brains at all. That company is not your daddy's company. It's my granddad's. My mom's dad. And he named me as the successor. You will never be the president. But... But... Daddy... Your daddy has already lost his position. You aren't the president's daughter now. You're the daughter of a middle-aged man with a part-time job. Can't you understand that? How can a stranger's child claim to be the successor? It's time to see where you really stand. You're a shallow, lazy ignoramus, just like your parents. Why? How can this be? How can I not be president? How can you be the successor? You're just some stranger. You've got to be kidding me. You can cry about it all you like, but you can't change reality. Maybe you should start worrying about what you can actually do with your life, instead of worrying about whether you can become president or not. What? Because before long, your daddy is going to be broke, and he's still living with a woman whose only skill is to waste money. He has a college student who plays around while her parents pay all her tuition and living expenses. He's not getting any younger, and it's only a matter of time before his body starts to give out on him. When that happens, what will you do? Will you get a scholarship and start working part-time? Will you abandon your father? No matter what you do, you can't play around anymore. Will you be able to handle that, after always being able to do what you want for so long? No. Oh god, what am I going to do? Well, you could revise your life plan for the future. I'm a stranger, so it doesn't concern me. All right then, this conversation is over. Wait, hold on a second. What? Um, you know, all the stuff up until now. How do I say this? I'm sorry. I've really thought about what I've done. So can you just hear me out for a second? Because, you know, you're my sister, after all. What? What? Sister? Who? We don't have that kind of relationship. A stranger shouldn't act like they are one of the family, should they? You disgust me, honestly. Oh. Maybe you think you're flattering me, but you're having the opposite effect. You won't get any support from me. Well then, I'm busy, so... Good luck with life. Goodbye. After that, I got a lot of calls from Isabel and my dad. It was annoying, so I immediately blocked them. My dad's new wife found out about how he was fired from his job, and they began having difficulties. They divorced and fought and fought over alimony, and completely neglected Isabel. Isabel's lost all her income, and she no longer had enough for living and tuition expenses. At first, she sold her clothes and accessories and things and covered the costs with that. But naturally, there was a limit to that as well. She started messing with her mother's things, and then fights broke out between them. In the end, Isabel was thrown out of the house. She quit college and started working in clubs and places like that. Her mother disappeared, and our father gave up the house. I heard no one knows where he is now. A miserable end for a family of plebs. My mother is probably stunned as well, looking down from heaven. Afterwards, I did exactly as planned and worked full-time at a different company in the same industry after I graduated college. I'm devoting myself to my work as I learn more, and I'm living every day to the fullest. I have to repay my grandparents for sending me to college. So... I'm going to continue to work diligently to become an excellent successor to the company. Hey Gabby, do you have a minute to talk? Wow, it's not like you to text me. What's up? Mom asked me to text you. She could have just asked you this herself, but whatever. 
Oh. What's the matter? She was wondering if you have any plans to visit home soon. What do you mean? Just like I said, are you planning on visiting mom and dad in the near future? You never really visit anymore. What do you mean? I try to make it back for Christmas every year. So until then, I really don't have any plans to visit home. Ugh, okay. Well, if you're free this Saturday, do you think you can come over? This Saturday? Why? Ugh, they said they're having a bunch of relatives over. I guess our cousin Jenna is getting married. Is she really? Oh, I'm so happy for her. <laughs> I know, right? Her and her fiancé are coming over to meet everyone, including Grandma and Grandpa. That's why Mom wanted me to ask what you were doing this Saturday. She wanted me to ask you if you could come. Gotcha. Well, I'm actually not sure if I'm free or not. I might have to work. Really? You don't have off on weekends? Well, I usually do. But there are times where I have to work on Saturdays, too. Wow. <laughs> Who works on the weekends anymore? Your job is totally taking advantage of you. <laughs> I do, sometimes. It's not that weird. Maybe your job is different. Yeah, my job is the best. They've never thought about making me work on the weekends. That's just great. I'll get back to you tomorrow about Saturday. I'll text you then. Hey, Tiffany. You got a second? Yeah. Did you find out if you were off or not on Saturday? Yeah. I don't have to work Saturday, so you can tell Mom I'll be there. Actually, could you just text her yourself? I hate being the messenger. Even if I do try to tell Mom, I know she'll just make you text me back for her. That's why I'm purposely texting you and not her. Yeah, probably. She doesn't even trust you enough to text her. That's why she's having me talk to you. Ugh, whatever. She has no reason to think that. I always respond to people when they text me. <laughs> I can't imagine not being trusted enough to send a simple text. That must be rough for you, sis. Now I have to get involved because of it. All this trouble over texting. Whatever. You're clearly the favorite child you always have been. It wouldn't be this much trouble if Mom didn't have some stupid grudge against me. Either way, I don't care. I'm over it, and I don't expect anything different out of her. <laughs> of course, that's what you say. You're always so quick to be defensive. You've never been able to get along with Mom. Defensive? I'm the one who's always been silent when they've been rude to me. <laughs> oh, yeah? Anyway, I'll let Mom know you're coming. Thanks. By the way, everyone's coming over in the afternoon, so be at the house before then. Why, so Mom can send me out on errands or make me help with cooking for everyone? I can feel it. She's going to put me to work as soon as I get there. Why do you always make her out to be such a bad person? Am I wrong? You'll be there too, right? She's going to make you work? Ugh, sorry. <laughs> I actually won't be home in the morning. I have a few things I've got to do myself. I should have seen that coming. Mom told me it was okay. Anyway, see you Saturday. Yeah, see you then. Are you? Did you leave already? Of course I did. I came because you asked me to. Not to hear you brag all day about yourself. I was bragging? I don't know what you mean. Don't play dumb. You went on and on about yourself like you always do. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. You didn't think it was embarrassing to talk about yourself like that in front of everyone? Why would I be embarrassed? I didn't say anything embarrassing. You're totally oblivious. It's one thing to brag about yourself in front of me or mom and dad. But you were way out of line to go on and on about yourself the way you did in front of everyone that was there today. What was the point of doing that? Are you mad because I brought you up? Don't sweat it. I mean, it's the truth after all. Did you see Jenna's fiancé's face when you were talking about everything? Uh, he was totally fine. He's about to be part of this family soon. 
You should know everything about us. The same thing goes for our other relatives, too. Maybe, but the way you were talking was out of line. Ugh, are you really mad? I can't change the truth. You're the one that dropped out of high school and doesn't have a degree. Why would you ever need to bring that up in front of everyone? And yes, I am really mad. You were so rude. Well, everyone's still at the house and no one said anything to me about it. You're the only one that seems to have a problem with what I said. I wonder why that is. Wow. You're not the only one who's mad. Mom and Dad are furious right now. They couldn't believe you stormed off like that. What? I don't think I did anything wrong. All I did was let everyone know all about you. I didn't lie about anything, did I? I think you're really mad at the reality of the situation. I can't help it if everyone compares us. You're a high school dropout, and I'm a college graduate with an awesome job. Whatever, that's not what I'm saying. I know all of that, but they didn't need to, especially with the way you were saying it. That's why I'm mad. Well, why don't you just go back to school or something? If you're worried about being compared to me, maybe you should have worked harder and not dropped out. Only you have the power to change things, right? You're not helping anything by saying that. A high school dropout that works in a factory. Do you plan on working there forever? All I did was tell the truth. If you're mad at that, then what you're saying is that you're really just mad at the situation you put yourself in. Only you can change that. Is that honestly what you think? Of course. Like I said, I only speak the truth. If anything, I'm the one who should be annoyed. You took everything I said wrong, threw a hissy fit and ran off. Who knows the next time everyone will be together in the same room like today. Ugh, just think about how Grandma and Grandpa felt when they saw you slamming the door behind you. I'm honestly used to taking this kind of abuse. I never said anything because you only pulled stunts like this when we were with Mom and Dad. But doing it in front of our entire extended family is unacceptable. I'll never forgive you for what you did. <laughs> I can't believe you. I didn't do anything wrong. You've got no life skills and nothing to show for yourself. On top of that, you blame others for your failures. I don't want to talk about this anymore. I've got a message for mom and dad. Tell them I'm never stepping foot in that house again. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> sure, I'll tell them right now. Now that I think about it, you've always been the one to embarrass yourself in front of the relatives. Today's no different. The vibe here has been so much better since you ran off like a baby. <laughs> Whatever. Say what you want. Bye. Okay. Bye, sis. <laughs> You think you're doing? You think you could just waltz into my job like that? What are you talking about? When did I go to your job? Uh, don't play dumb. I saw you in the lobby of my building. I know what you're up to. You came to try and talk trash about me to my coworkers. I literally have no clue what you're saying right now. I saw you at my job. So I'll ask you again, what are you doing there? Oh, yeah, I am at your job. But don't you usually work at another branch? Yeah, but I came to HQ today for training. I never expected to see you there. I almost had a heart attack. Oh, yeah? Is that all you had to tell me? I thought we had a mutual agreement to cut each other out of our lives. I don't think there's reason for us to talk anymore. I never wanted to text you. But after seeing you there, I knew you were up to something. I have a right to know. What are you saying? I'm not trying to do anything. I have no obligation to tell you what I'm doing here. <sighs> you need to leave right now. There's no business for a high school dropout to be at a first-rate company like mine. You better get out of there right now and never come back again. Only those who have done something with their lives and earned a spot there should be in that building. You've been there a year. You sound so arrogant right now. So what if I've only been here a year? This is my career. 
I may have only been here for a year, but I'm on track to making my way straight to the top. Unlike you, people actually expect big things out of me. Is that right? Ugh, what's your problem? Are you still there? I told you to get out. I never want to see you there again. Oh, trust me, the feeling is mutual. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave, and I'll make sure to never come back. Great, I'm glad you agree. That's all. Bye. Why didn't you say anything? If you would have told me, things could have turned out differently. I thought I told you I never wanted to talk to you again. Where's that fire you had when you were yelling at me the other day? You seem a bit deflated. Yeah, well, I'm really sorry about how I talked to you. Do you think you could come back to my job one more time? No, I already let your boss know what you said to me. Seems like he had a nice little chat with you about it. So, no, I won't come back to your job. I honestly don't think I could even fit it into my schedule. Especially if you are the one who's asking me to do it. Just please find time to come back. Sorry, can't do it. I already cleared my schedule once. I knew you worked for that company, so I made an exception. But then you told me I shouldn't be there and to never come back. Why would I help you now? Oh, you should have said something from the beginning. When did you become such a hotshot? Oh, you mean my business seminars that your job asked me to give? I started giving talks recently. I actually quit my previous job a while ago. What? I used my connections and worked my butt off to get to where I am now. I even went back to school and graduated college. I majored in business management. Where I am now is all thanks to the work I put in. Well, I had no idea about any of that. Yeah, well, I wasn't planning on telling you. I mean, even if I did, none of you trust me or believe anything I say, so it would have been a waste of time. None of you have any interest in the things I do. Yeah, well, you really put me in a bad spot. There were so many people who were with me for training. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I went through the trouble of clearing my schedule to come speak at your job. Unfortunately, it didn't matter that we were related. If one of that company's employees tells me to leave and never come back, that's what I'm going to do. Why would I react any differently? <laughs> but still... My inbox is overflowing with requests from other companies that want me to speak. I'm way more popular than you'd imagine. So turning down your job doesn't make a dent in the amount of offers I have for work. Actually, your job has been calling to apologize for everything that happened. They still want me to come. But Gabby... My boss came in and called for me in the middle of my training to chew me out about what happened. Oh, I was mortified. Everyone in the room was staring at me. <laughs> that must have been rough. Have some sympathy. Please. You're the only one that can help me right now. Just please find time to come back. Is that what your boss wants? Yeah. He said I have to be there this time when you come. He knows you went through the trouble of coming last time just because you'd be speaking at my job. He wants me to take full responsibility for what happened. If things stay the way they are, my career is ruined. Oh, really? Oh, that wouldn't be good. I'm so sorry for everything I've done to you. Just, oh, please. Here's a newsflash for you. The only people who don't know about what I do are you, Mom and Dad. What do you mean? Jenna and her fiancé? Grandma and Grandpa? All of our relatives know about what I do for a living. Why do they know? Because I told them. They actually have interest in my life, unlike you guys. In fact, I've spoken at every one of their jobs. Really? Yeah, so when you tried to make me look like a fool the other day, everyone looked shocked, right? Jenna texted me right after I left. She said, Tiffany really hasn't changed, huh? She's a real piece of work. I even got a call from Grandma and Grandpa. They apologized on your behalf for how rude you were to me. They told me we're at a loss for words for how she was treating you. Are you serious? Ever since you were little, you've always been so rude and disrespectful towards me. 
Everyone in the family feels the same way. Mom and Dad have always spoiled you and given you a false sense of entitlement. I'm not embarrassed of being a high school dropout. I wear that title with pride. It's the reason I've worked so hard to get to where I am now. And every time you try to hold that over my head and talk trash about me to others, you're really just embarrassing yourself. You're proving to everyone you're still a spoiled brat. That's not true. Whether you believe it or not, it's true. Now is as good a time as ever to cut each other out of our lives. I'm actually grateful things turned out this way. Please, don't text me anymore. Wait, are you going to help me or not? Why should I help you? You're nothing but a stranger to me now. Honestly, I don't care if you lose your job. I saved all my money from my factory job to afford going to college. After graduating, I got a job as a business consultant. After that, I branched out and started my own business. I go around to different companies, giving seminars on proper business conduct and ethics. I never told that to my parents or my sister. It's not like they would have listened anyway. On the other hand, everyone in my extended family was happy to hear all about it. In fact, after my parents kicked me out of my house after my 20th birthday, all my relatives were really worried about me. They always kept in touch with me to see how I was doing. I made sure to thank them and tell them I was doing fine on my own. I even told everyone about what happened with Tiffany. Eventually, word got around to my mom and dad. They kept trying to text me and call me now that they know what I really do. I just said the same thing to them as I said to Tiffany. You're both strangers to me. Honestly, it felt like a huge weight off my shoulders. I went to Jenna's wedding the other day. My mom, dad, and Tiffany were nowhere to be seen. When I asked Jenna about it later, she told me, only family's welcome at my wedding. They also told me they think my sister probably gets her personality from my dad. He's always been stuck up ever since he was a kid. My whole family thinks he's kind of a snob. I guess I'm not the only one who hates him. At the wedding, I asked my grandparents what they thought about everything that happened. I thought for sure it would be stressing them out. But when I asked about it, my grandpa just laughed and said, it never hurts to do a bit of house cleaning. They're on their own now. I try not to think about them anymore. I know that karma will get to them eventually.